Sweet like a cactus fruit on a summer's day. We are out here in the middle of the ocean, and I mean literally the middle of the ocean. On the Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, we're transatlantic cruising from Florida to Spain, and we're about the halfway point today. So like I said, we are literally in the middle of the ocean, and I'm taking the day to film some videos. I just filmed one about the lack of privacy on balconies that cruise ships spy on you. They have cameras facing every single balcony and they record everything you do and they share it with the crew at least some people think so if you want to see that video make sure you're subscribed it might have gone online last week it might go online next week it's gonna be called something like cruise lines are spying, are spying on, us. on us and i'm sure it's gonna be a huge hit but this video is going to be much less dramatic than that one we're just gonna take a look around this basic balcony cabin here on deck seven this is cabin seven seven zero two like i said on the symphony of the Sees a Oasis class ship from Royal Caribbean. And I think if you cruise on any of the Oasis class ships, Oasis, Allure, Harmony, Symphony, Wonder, did I miss one? I think the balcony cabins are going to be very similar to this. So let's take a look around. Here we are at 702 on deck seven. You can hear the ship creaking and cracking. It's rolling back and forth today. And I'm going to be filming this part of the video with my new toy, my Insta360 X3 camera, which has a lot of features that I haven't learned how to use yet. So I just hope it works out all right. Thank you again to everybody who sent a bottle of wine to our cabin. We have been enjoying them. It's actually saved us a lot of money and I'm just really, really thankful for your generosity. And I only know one person who's done it like only one person has claimed their bottle of wine so if it was you just just know that we're very thankful and we've really been enjoying them as always with my room tours this is not a newly moved into cabin we have been staying here and it's also later in the day today so nap time is over when you move into your cabin the bed will be made differently than it is now i just kind of threw the covers back on there one thing i can tell you is some of the cabins are set up that when you come in it's bed couch balcony and some of them are couch bed balcony i don't know if there's a way to provide a preference, but there's probably advantages and disadvantages to each kind. This bed is super wide. Let me see if I can show you. I know I'm only 5'5", so this isn't gonna give you the proper idea for a normal sized person, but do you see, like, I can sleep both ways on this bed. Thank you 360 degree camera for making this shot possible. One thing that I think is a little bit unfortunate for a ship that's not really that old is, there is an outlet on this side of the bed, but on this side of the bed, there is no outlet. There is a USB port in the telephone. So if you wanna charge one device, you do have that possibility, but there's no outlet. You can't plug anything in. Another thing Marcus and I noticed is that these lights are really bright at night. So if one person wants to have a light on and read while the other person wants to sleep, these are almost too bright for that. and it's not like a standard reading light. You can't change the angle or anything. It's either on or off and then it's bright. The closet on this side has a small hanging area and then several cubbies, including the safe. You can see what that looks like here. And you can also see the door swinging open and closed because this ship has been rolling and rolling and rolling for days. Take a look at the horizon out there going up and down and up and down. The closet over on this side has only hanging space but you can also put some bags down there, your suitcases, maybe your backpacks, things like that. By the way, suitcases also do fit under the bed. As usual in cruise cabins of this category, this couch can be used as a bed, either just a single bed like it is, or the bottom part slides out and it becomes an even bigger bed. And we were saying it's unfortunate that there's no little coffee table, like kind of, you know, an end table or something, or maybe, something flat to put on here if you just want to sit on the couch and have a glass of wine for instance or a coffee or something but the desk is actually not attached so you can slide that over let me show you what that looks like 
So it is possible to transform the furniture here to make it a little bit more comfortable if you want to sit on the sofa, for instance, if both of you want to have room service in the cabin. All of the drawers over here are real drawers and that cupboard is actually the mini fridge, which is really nice. It's not standard to have a mini fridge in cruise ship cabins. Many don't, but these do. And it's just a tiny little fridge, but it's big enough for a couple cans of Red Stripe beer, for instance, or I don't know, baby food. I don't know what you want to put in there. Anything you want to be cold. All right, big topic that everybody wants to know about. Is the bathroom door Morgan approved? The answer is yes. It is a real door that closes all the way. It is not see-through or translucent. I like my privacy. By the way, you can't really tell here, but there's a little blue light in this um, slit here, which is a nice effect to have at night. It just gives a little bit of light and lets you know where the light switch is. Also, I'll try to show you before I turn the light on here. Up there in the corner, do you see how that part also is like a night light. It's just really great. So you don't have to turn on the light in the middle of the night if somebody uses the toilet because that's just gonna wake up everybody else in the cabin. The bathroom space is, it's a cruise ship bathroom. It's not spacious by any means. This is definitely not the smallest of the, yeah, it's not the smallest cruise ship bathroom I've been in. Not the biggest, but if you wanna be sure to have a little bit more extra bathroom space, then you need to start at a junior suite or higher. Anything that has suite in the name is gonna give you more bathroom space. This balcony has a sliding door, which is definitely the kind of balcony door that I prefer because sometimes it's nice to just have the balcony door open for a little bit of fresh air, especially the afternoons I've been sitting here editing video for several hours. It's nice to listen to the ocean, have some fresh air, and also, if you wanna take an afternoon nap like we have almost every afternoon, it's just nice to listen to the ocean. And many cruise ships have a traditional swinging style door, which makes it more difficult to leave the door open unless you yeah, like cram something into it to prevent it from closing. So I much prefer the sliding door. And if you wanna see like exactly what the balcony view is like. If you're considering cruising with the Symphony of the Seas or any other of the Oasis class ships from Royal Caribbean and you might have a question let me know. I might even already have made a video about it answering your questions, so you can check my playlist or check the rest of my library. Or just shoot me a comment, I'll try to get back to you. I do read all the comments when I can. And if you're looking for something fun and light to read on your next cruise, please check out Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship. It's available on Amazon now. It's a book a little bit about my life and talks about some crazy, strange, fun, and funny things that have happened to me on my travels around the world. So not only are you getting a nice light read for your next journey, but it's also a great way to support what I do here on YouTube and help me out a little bit. Getting stitches on a cruise ship, available on Amazon now. And that being said, remember, there are gonna be so many more videos coming from this journey about this ship, so just make sure you're subscribed before you go, and I hope to see you back here soon. Bye-bye.